In this section, I will talk about how to apply Redux Library into this application. I created a new file named vo2-store state dispatch action reducer to contain the codes for our new project. The reason I named it like this is that store, state, dispatch, action, and reducer are the most important keywords in Redux Library. First, I'm going to copy all codes from the previous file and paste them into the new file. This flowchart demonstrates how to use Redux libraries. To convert our current project into Redux architecture, we need to go through two main steps. The first step includes Step 1.1, Step 1.2, and Step 1.3. The second step includes Step 2.1 and Step 2.2. The reason I divide it into two main steps is that step one is only needed to configure one time, no matter how complicated your application is. On the other hand, step two is repeated or updated many times when you extend the size of this application. At step 1.1, we will add the Redux library with this script. You can find out this script by searching from Google with this keyword. This is the most popular Git repository, which is used by most of Redux developers to learn knowledge of Redux. This is the simplest example of Redux. I'm going to copy this script, which helps adding Redux library. And paste into our project. It is better to apply searching skill rather than try to take note or remember exactly everything. I'm going to comment what step this code belongs to in order to help you follow more easily. The step 1.1 starts here. And ends here. At step 1.2, we need to create store object by using redux.createStore method. Redux here is from the library, which is added at the step 1.1. CreateStore method receives counter as a parameter. We call this parameter to be reducer. Let me call it counter reducer for convenience. Counter reducer belongs to step 2.2. I will talk about this reducer later. The step 2.2 starts here and ends here. Please take note that store is an important keyword in Redux library. For that reason, I mentioned store in the name of this file. Let me remind you that store, state, Dispatch, Action, and Reducer are the most important keywords in Redux architecture. I made this icon to show you where we use keyword store and show the relationship of store with other keywords. First, I will talk about the relationship between store and state. Let me explain about state. State is an object managed by store. Store.getState method helps to return state object. We use properties from state object in order to update information of HTML elements. 
For example, if state is an object with count equal to zero, that value will be attached to the inner HTML of this element to show zero here. For another example, if state is an object with count equal to minus one, that value will be attached to inner HTML of this element to show minus one here. So far, we know that we can get state object with store.getState method. Then, how can we set the default value for state object? And how can we update state object? Notice that for some reason, we are not allowed to set value directly into state object like this. I will answer these two questions later.